Greetings and thank you for another day, a beautiful day, a time to spend in the Word of God and prayer together. We need to remind ourselves every day, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, no matter what yesterday, how yesterday ended, today is a new day and you and I make a choice to rejoice because this is the day the Lord has made and we're expecting God to do good things in our lives. God is a good God and He can turn around every bad of yesterday. He can make it good today. So we rejoice. As we continue examining and learning on Jesus' teaching on faith, I want us to consider another aspect of great faith as, uh, as recorded in the teaching and the ministry of Jesus. There were two people to whom Jesus said, you have great faith. One was the Roman centurion, and the other one was this uh, woman from Canaan. Now, interestingly, here is again a Gentile. She's not a Jewish woman. She's not you know, a woman who's been taught in the scriptures and taught how to believe God and taught everything about the covenant of God. No, she has none of that. All she has is knowledge or information. She's heard about Jesus, heard about what he has been doing for so many people. And so she decides to come to Jesus on behalf of her daughter who's been tormented by evil spirits. And uh, this is in Matthew, the 15th chapter. As uh, she makes her way to Jesus, you know, now, we don't know all the background, but, you know, you could just imagine that perhaps it was a very busy day and Jesus was maybe resting or whatever. But the disciples tried to prevent, in some way, this woman from getting to Jesus. So, you know, they tried to, say, you know, keep, keep her away. But she makes her way to Jesus and then Jesus... You know, she comes to Jesus with her request. My daughter is grievously tormented. And Jesus responds by saying, you know, giving a very theological statement, if you look at it. He said, you know, right now, and I'm just putting it in our simple language. He says, right now, I have been sent to minister only to the Jewish people. So I can't take the provision that is for them and make it available to the non-Jewish people. That's basically what he said. It's a pretty theological matter. Uh, he's just following God's the Father's program, which is right now, you know, uh, minister to the Jews and then later on the Gentiles. Gentiles will come later on. So everything I've provided, administer it to the Jews. That's what he told her. But you know, she was not deterred by that. She worshipped him. In other words, she's saying to him, all right, with what you're saying theologically, but right now I'm embracing you as Lord. I'm a Gentile, but now I'm stepping in and doing what the Jews would do, which is worship you or worship the Lord, Yahweh. I'm worshiping. She worshiped. And Jesus responded, said, woman, you've got great faith. So what is great faith? It's faith that will not take no for an answer. It's faith that is so persistent. It comes to this place saying, God, I worship you. Even if everything is shouting a no, I still worship you. I will receive what you promised. Great faith. Great faith is persistent. Great faith is able to worship even when things are so contrary and so opposing. That's what this woman did. Let us be people of great faith, persistent, determined, and we express that through our worship in the harshest of times. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us follow the example of this woman and be people of great faith in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.